Hello and welcome to the FanZola Customer Experience Center. My name is Matt Tung. Today we'd like to give you a product tour of the Fan Rotor Press. The Rotor Press product has been in production for over 80 years, and in that time, the basic principle has remained the same. An energy and fuel efficient rotating drum design using a minimum of moving parts and with an internal spiral to constantly move the waste forward. The Rotor Press is available in body sizes of between 8 and 25 cubic meters to suit chassis with gross vehicle weights of between 12 and 32 tonnes. The hopper free design means a low overhang at the rear, allowing for excellent manoeuvrability. The rotor press is available in an open design and as you can see here, it allows for unique advertising opportunities. So the rotor press is available with a covered design, allowing for better soundproofing. Advertising boards can be fixed externally. So the rotor press has a front A-frame. Attached to this is the front pivot bearing. Above this, we have the hydraulic tank with the return filter and breather filter. The tank stores around 120 litres of oil with the oil level indicator to the near side. Filling of the oil can be either via the quick release coupling or the filter housing at the top. We also have an extraction system at the front of the body which controls air movement through the drum according to the EN1501 regulations and ensures that no bio-waste gases are allowed to build up inside. The main body of the drum is constructed in 3 mil steel. The outer wall of the drum is sandproofed. The rear drive section is constructed out of 6 to 10 mil steel. The rotor press uses a very simple design with only 13 moving parts. A standard RCV has over 37 different moving components. Rotation is driven by an axial piston pump in a closed circuit connection with a powerful hydraulic motor via a gearbox and welded gear ring around the drum circumference. The incredibly efficient design of the rotor press allows for fuel and energy savings of upwards of 15%. The lightweight design allows for increased payloads of up to 800 kilograms. This leads to incredibly lower whole life costs and improves life expectancy. As an option, the rotor press is available with an even more efficient pump, or alternatively, it is available with an electric motor drive. The rotating drum of the rotor press has a double helix screw, which conveys the waste constantly forward. This allows for the waste to be distributed evenly across the length of the body. To unload the drum, we simply turn it in the opposite direction. The cylindrical design ensures that no waste is left behind. Compaction of the waste only begins when the drum is 80% full. The rear section has a press screw that the waste compacts against. This press screw has wear plates to allow for easy exchange for maintenance purposes. To further simplify maintenance and to reduce costs and downtime, the rotor press has only 15 grease points. These grease points can be fitted to the fan automatic lubrication system. Fitted inside the cab, we have the fan control system. Otherwise known as the FCS system, we have the display and the command module. The FCS display acts as the interface for the driver to operate the body. It is the one of the most simplistic and easy to use control systems on the marketplace. It offers a clear and easy to use interface for the operator to control all the body and in some instances, the bin lifter functionality. The display itself can be removed from the body for maintenance and diagnostic purposes, able to monitor and control all digital and analog inputs and outputs directly from the display. At the back of the rotor press, we have two external control panels, one fitted either side at the back of the tailgate. At the top of these control panels, we have the emergency stop button. Below this, we have the green button, which starts the compaction mechanism, starts the drum from turning. We have the red button, which stops the drum turning. We have the bell, which signals the driver in the cab. And then we have the work light switch, which turns the external rear working lights on and off. At the back of the tailgate, we have the two-handed controls for the lowering of the tailgate. These are positioned so the operative has a clear view of the danger zone, operated simultaneously so that the movement cannot be initiated accidentally. These two buttons close and lock down the tailgate. The fan control system can be specified with an optional inbuilt weighing system known as ActiFit Load Management System. It is to be used as an aid for the driver to monitor gross vehicle weights, axle weights and the payload on board in real time. 
The system can be programmed to stop the drum rotation if and when the gross vehicle weight reaches its maximum. Actifit can work via CAN bus in conjunction with the chassis' own axle load indicator. This uses pressure sensors within the suspension airbags to determine the load placed on them. This means that no additional weighing system is required to be fitted. Adjustments can then be made to the weighing system easily using the chassis' own controls. The rotor press from FAN is built to last with proven technology and design. The body is energy efficient, allowing for great fuel savings. It also lends itself well to picking up green waste collections due to the natural composting process of the turning drum. We hope you've enjoyed watching our video of the FAN rotor press product. For more information, have a look at our website or contact a member of the sales team. Check out our social media channels, our YouTube channel FZUK TV. Thank you.